So I'm at the second feedlot of the day on call, and uh, I just thought I'd show you what was in the PM pit. So the first animal had all of these erosions and blunting of the papillae in its mouth. And this is the inside of the esophagus, and you can see all of these erosions here within the mucosa. And then this is the inside of the ileum, or the last part of the small intestine, and these are the payer's patches, and uh, this is necrosis of the payer's patch. So this animal died of BVD mucosal disease. Uh, this animal probably was persistently infected, and then what happens is its virus, the BVD, mutates from the non-cytopathic form into the cytopathic form, and it basically attacks their every surface of their mucosal membrane, so right from the mouth, Abomasum and all of their small intestines as well. Uh, completely trashes it and uh, unfortunately it's lethal. Uh, this animal is euthanized. Then this is a c cut cross section of lung, anterior ventral, so the bottom piece of the lung. And you can see all of this consolidation and pus coming out of the So this is what we call a separative bronchopneumonia. Lastly, we're looking at the larynx of a different animal, and here are the lateral cartilages of the retinoids. You can see there's abscessation on both sides, and this is secondary to Histophilus somni. This is a cut cross section of the lung of the same animal with the Histophilus somni infection, uh, and this is all fibrin or bread and butter lesion. This is um, fibrinous pleuritis because when we look at the lung, the lung is actually normal, so it doesn't have pneumonia, it has a pleuritis. So fibrinous pleuritis is also caused by histophilus somni. So this poor guy got diphtheria and fibrinous pleuritis. Come on, get over here, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up.